Hello, everybody. It's me, uh, Josh the Funk Doc, uh, one of the people who uh, you know put a lot of work into getting this marathon together, and I'm glad to be able to play some games again. I hadn't been streaming video games in almost a year, and uh, this was my uh, this was a little comeback for me. So I have four games in this marathon, three of which are right now, and those will be Castle of Dragon here, and then Knuckle Bash. And then the Ninja Kids, all uh, wonderfully bizarre in their own special way. This one, if you remember the NES game, um, it's based on this one, but this is quite uh, it's quite different. As you can see, there's kind of a background and foreground gimmick. You can go between those. It's more of a straightforward side-scroller. And uh, the soundtrack to this game is uh, special. <laughs> What would you expect for fantasy anime? Probably not this. Anyway, let's go. So the goal of this game is to get speed boots, as many speed boots as I can, as quickly as I can. And I'm getting these sword power-ups here. So the lightning sword is better than the, uh, Fire. But I get fire for stage two. Also, that's the first stage already. The sword power ups fire and especially lightning deal stupid amounts of damage to bosses. This stage is one of the main things that can kill you. Also, note the five second music loop here. Lots of instant death spikes. And also, th this stage loves to drop inputs on you. Thankfully they didn't do it here. That part really scares me. Sometimes the game just uh, won't let you jump when you want to jump. So I mashed the hell out of the jump button. Anyway, stage three. You get a bomb. You get one bomb per stage and I use it usually in the boss, but there I use it there. Okay, that's okay. That was Titty Medusa. She's gone now. There's a second one if you don't kill her quickly enough. Anyway, I have to take this part pretty carefully. Like really carefully. I might actually die here. Oh my god. I thought I wasn't going to make it there. Anyway, that's invincibility. We now get the lightning sword here and full health pick up here. Yes! That's the toughest part of the game right there, is getting, keeping your lightning sword active. Like, you have to make sure you have enough time left on your lightning sword to kill both of those bosses. Otherwise, the fight goes to hell because you get stuck with your shitty regular sword. Anyway, I'll pick up Lightning Sword there again. This stage is another one that doesn't have a boss, by the way. I'll just use my bomb to kill that tree there. And we are uh, all ready to uh, the last boss. And yes, there's a cap on the speed boots. Anyway, pick up Fire Sword here. Yes! Got the armor. Yes! I have the lightning sword still active for the last boss now because it carries over between stages. And now we're all ready to the last boss of the game. Alright, folks. That's a three minute video game right there. No. Uh, that one skeleton, that last skeleton in stage four before the invincibility scared me. I thought I was gonna die there. Anyway, that's Castle of Dragon.
So yeah, if you uh, if you end the stage with a sword power up still active, it carries over to the next stage with a full timer again. That's how I, I was able to do that. Like I carried a, a lightning sword from stage two all the way into stage four. So there we go, there's my no miss. By the way, um, we'll just wait for this to play out here. Because here's your reward. I think it's maybe time-based. I'm not sure what determines this. You don't always get it, but take it easy as the developers flip you off. That's your reward. <laughs> Castle of Dragon, ladies and gentlemen. Castle of Dragon. One other fun fact is after you beat the last boss in two-player, the two players have to fight each other for the princess afterward. And if they both kill each other at the same time, the game actually has a separate ending for that. There's a different, like, piece of art with the princess crying over both their graves, and they even use a different theme for the ending there that's not used anywhere else in the game. All right, so that was uh, Castle of Dragon. And uh, stick around, and I got a couple more games for you today coming right after this.